everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some super simple and easy pesto. It can literally be whipped up in like 5-10 minutes and it's so easy to make and you can literally use it on anything. So let me show you how it's done. First thing you want to prepare is obviously your main ingredient, the basils. So here we're just going to separate the stem from the leaves and you're just going to discard the leaves. Oh no, discard the stems. And then you're just going to yeah, repeat this step um, to all the leaves. You don't have to do it for all of them, but like do it for most of them. And then once you're done, you're just going to wash your leaves, um, make sure it's all clean. Then you're going to dry out your leaf on a paper towel. So you're just going to spread them out evenly. And then you're going to take another towel and just like tap on it to get rid of the excess water. For this step, I'm pretty sure you can also use a clean cloth. Um, any that you have lying around. <laughs> Not lying around because you want a clean one, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyways, um, then you're just going to do that multiple times until you're finally satisfied. And then you're just going to remove it from the paper towel and then put it into a separate bowl. Give it one last squeeze and then you're done. Your basil is ready. <laughs> then you're just going to move on to the nuts. So here we're going to cut up um, one third cup of walnuts. You can also use pine nuts. You can also use almond nuts. See how versatile this dish is, this meal, this paste, the sauce. Yeah, you can literally use any nuts to, for make, to make pesto. And then you're just gonna blend it all together. So we're gonna take the basil and then you're gonna pour in the walnuts. Then you're just gonna scrape off the sides, blend it a little bit more. I'm gonna add a half cup of Parmesan and then three garlic cloves, and then you're gonna blend that as well. Just scrape the sides so you make sure everything is well incorporated. Do that again. <laughs> and then once you're done, you're gonna Pour in a half cup of extra virgin olive oil. If you don't have extra virgin olive oil, I think you can also use like um, regular olive oil. And then you're just gonna pour all of them in. Scrape the sides. It's just a repeated step. And then you're gonna add a cup, a pinch of salt, and then a pinch of black pepper. Actually, that wasn't really a pinch, but like you get what I mean. And then you're done. Look at that. Your pesto that looks so creamy and delicious. And then for your pesto, you can use it as a um, spread on your bread, or you can use it like we're showing here, which is on pasta. You just mix it all together on cooked pasta, and then you're done. That's your meal for the day. You can also refrigerate this for a couple of weeks. I think maybe one week. Don't want to be sick afterwards. And then you're done. Here's your meal. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. Oh, yeah. Here's a really awesome close-up of this festo. Looks absolutely delish. I hope you enjoy. Bye!